this is just a quantum leap forward. It allows us to take what's on the computer screen and turn it into a real-life physical model in a matter of hours. There is very much a wow factor. It really changes uh, the way we think about production. This is one of those industries that matches perfectly with 3D printing, additive manufacturing, because we need custom everything. The client can come in and see that we're not just one of 8,000 processors, that we actually invest in a technology that makes them better, differentiates us from everyone else. Now we've got a 3D Fenway Park. This came off a printer? Is that what you're telling me? Believe it or not, it's a 3D printer that jets a resin that turns into a plastic when it's done. By having this 3D printer, we can have a very, very short turnaround time, more than any other company in this field. You can rapidly prototype complex products without the need for the major capital investment in a production line. The technology affords you the ability to actually get back one resource in this world you can't buy in its time. It allows our students a lot more hands-on opportunities. They can take the object and they can test it and they can see the theory being supported by the actual physical results. You know, that type of information is priceless. You guys are really on the cutting edge. They can take it into the big boss at the company. Here you go, boss. We've got a great new system. We're going to sell a million of them. No words for me to, to describe how cool it is. Stratasys is able to take a CAD file, we can import it into the machine and print a part in hours. You can redesign the part to take advantage of what 3D printing can really do, which is very complex geometries that just can't be made by any other means. We're working with Stratasys. What we're trying to do is take their technology and go from prototyping to real manufacturing. You can make parts, you can make systems that can't be made any other way. Having this technology here was a game changer. It was the difference between killing a program and keeping it moving forward.